Hello everyone and welcome to the course. I'm very much excited to have you learn with me in this course on Adobe Illustrator. Now in this lecture, we're going to be learning about the interface and the tools of Adobe Illustrator. We are, we are simply going to be brushing our knowledge because this is not a beginner course. Okay, this is not a beginner course, so we are not going to be learning very basic things. This course is meant for intermediate and advanced learners and it's more of a build up to the beginner course we have on adobe illustrator if you're coming from that course then you're going to find most of the things we'll be covering in this lecture familiar okay because we covered them in the beginner course so it's basically the interface and the tools of adobe illustrator if you are not coming from that course it's still fine you can continue with the course as far as you have some basic knowledge <coughs> of Adobe Illustrator, okay? If not, I will advise you to go and take that course. That's the one for the very basic uh, learners, okay? That's people who are very new to Adobe Illustrator, okay? So I'm going to kind of assume that all of us taking this course have kind of a beginner knowledge of Adobe Illustrator, kind of a basic, very basic knowledge of Adobe Illustrator, okay? So in order to start now, I'm going to create a new document like usual okay now whenever you open adobe illustrator this is the first interface you see okay uh, with here having some presets which you can choose from with here having you being able to create a new document open an existing document and then you seeing your previous works here okay your previous works here so what am i going to do now i'm just going to let's say create a new document okay then i'm just going to choose um this common i'm going to choose this one this common okay now the size is one three six six pixels by seven six eight pixels okay and then the color mode is uh, rgb okay we have rgb we have cmyk the color mode is rgb and then i'm just going to click create and this is now our file okay this is the artboard and then this is the artboard of course created in the size we've uh, selected now i'm just going to of course brush through the whole thing because i'm assuming you have a beginner knowledge of of what adobe illustrator is okay of adobe illustrator so of course these are the file this is the file where you create a new document or you open an existing document you save you save us you please that's basically important then you export and do a whole lot of things we have edit we have objects okay these are just the menus okay so this is the menu bar and then we have here which is the windows menu now in the windows menu of course we know that the windows menu takes care of um the panels of the interface okay and then the workspace of the interface so we can kind of activate panels here we can kind of um, that's panels being features okay we can kind of activate them and deactivate them and we can kind of choose from workspaces okay so when we come to workspace for example we have the essential and it's going to just um, edit the workspace to the essential okay then we have uh, the automation we have the layout we have the painting for example now this is what we get with the painting Okay, it activates the brushes, the stroke, the symbol, and many other panels, the color panel, the color guide tool, and so on and so forth. And then we have the properties here. We have properties here, okay? And we also have a properties panel. We also have a properties panel. For example, if we come on Windows and we choose Workspace and then uh, Essentials Classic, we are going to see the properties panel here, okay? Your Essentials Classic would probably have libraries here okay so in order to make mine just uh, just like yours you can just i can just come in windows and reset essentials classic so it's going to take it to the initial way it was what i did was i had to just uh, remove these libraries and then i brought uh, layers uh, to this point okay to this place okay so that i have layers here instead of libraries <coughs> so you have to note that whatever you create or you select rather on your workspace you're going to have properties relating to what you've selected if we don't have any selection we're going to have 
properties related to our artboard okay our artboard now so now we have no selection this is the documents of units which are in pixels okay we can have them in points in pickers in inches in feet and so on and so forth and then we have the number of artboards which is one we can have multiple artboards we can edit the artboard okay and it's going to select the artboard tool here which we can use to move to resize our artboard to kind of uh, duplicate we can just hold alt and kind of duplicate the artboard to have a copy okay so that when we now come we see that we have two artboards here okay so we have the number of artboards we can select artboard one we can select artboard two here okay and then we can edit them okay and we can kind of navigate between them using these icons here these buttons here now of course we have the rulers and grids we have the guides the snap options and so on and so forth <coughs> i'm assuming you in one time or the other uh, have come in contact with this option so going through them again and again and again will not be needed okay so that's it for the work the, the windows now we have many other uh, panels we have many other features in adobe illustrator which we can activate here okay which we can activate here for example let's see the brushes okay some of them are just uh, docked here and then when we click on them we have them opened like this okay we have the color and then the color guide we have the we have the swatches we have the brushes the symbols we have the stroke we have the gradient the transparency then we have um, the appearance panel we have the graphics styles then we have other ones like the asset exports the art boards okay then we have this other one which says comments okay but to me i'm not going to be using it kind of so it's kind of just uh, unuseful for me yeah these are some of the panels we'll be working with and of course we are going to be working with a lot of other panels in the future okay so let's come to tools let's come to tools by your left hand side of course we have the tools in adobe illustrator okay so there are a lot of tools in adobe illustrator and we looked at a lot of them in the beginner course okay and if and of course if you have some sort of experience with adobe illustrator you definitely have used a number of tools a lot of tools okay you definitely have used tools so i'm very sure you know what tools are tools are used to do things okay so like this the selection tool we use it to select our objects okay and kind of move them kind of move them around in the um in the work area okay so we kind of move them around in the work area we have the uh, direct selection tool which is used to select uh, points so you can select the point and you can move the point okay we can use the curve the edge curve tool here or icon here and just kind of edit the, the 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 angle or the curveness of the of the angle okay you can use this tool to select the anchor point now when you come here to this point you see edit toolbar okay so now we have uh here opened and we can see all our toolbars here now all of them are activated that's why you see them in this kind of gray faded out uh, style Okay, so all of them are activated why is that because we are in the advanced toolbar setting okay so this is the advanced toolbar setting where all the toolbars are activated when you come to basic we just have a few of them so we can see some of them are activated some of them are not activated okay so that's uh, basic and advanced toolbars and we can also kind of create our toolbars Okay, so we can have a new toolbar then we can call it my toolbar my toolbar and then my okay now we then have uh, our toolbar here our new toolbar here now we can now add tools to our toolbar let's assume we are drawing and then we have specific tools which we want to use okay 
which, which we want to use so let's see we have this guy we just drag it here okay you can see that now it's now grid out we have this guy which is the direct selection tool we drag it there or we can kind of just uh drag it on here in order to kind of create this kind of drop down menu where you can select between the two of them okay so that's one thing we can do so we have other tools here which we can add to this uh, toolbar okay we also have this icon here where we can choose basic advanced new toolbar and so on and so forth and manage toolbar toolbars right but what i am interested in doing is adding more tools to my toolbar my new toolbar so i'm just going to add this guy here add this guy here maybe add this i'm just doing this to demonstrate for you I can add more tools to my toolbar okay and then of course we have them in categories we have the selection tools okay and then we have uh, the draw tools we have the type tools we have the paint tools we have the modify tools we have the navigate tools okay so these tools are the navigate tools will help you navigate around your workspace and then the type tool will help you in creating types okay that's your fonting and your styling and your typing okay and then we have the paint tools which will help you in painting and then we have the modify tools which will basically modify the ship okay then we have the selection tool which will of course select colors select objects and then we have the draw tools which will draw out uh, shapes right and objects now here is now our our new toolbar so let's just come here windows and then come to tool toolbars now let's click on advanced now when we click on advanced we see that this guy is now out we've deactivated the advanced now we can just take this guy which is our new toolbar and then dock it here and now we have our toolbar our custom toolbar right so we can just use our custom toolbar to kind of create our drawings or whatever we want to create to use it in creating what we want to create okay and then you have this one for the adboard this one for the start tool you have this guy we have you can delete uh, points and so on and so forth that's with our custom toolbar so you can just drag it out and maybe delete it come to file toolbars and then advanced and we can also come and manage our toolbars okay we can delete our toolbars we can select the toolbar here the custom ones delete we can select them delete we can add new toolbars we can add keep adding and we can delete okay we can okay Skillshare is an online learning community with cancel. thousands of classes okay, for so creative and curious people about, on topics uh, including illustration, bus, design, bus. photography, video, freelancing, and more. Whether you want to learn a new skill, explore a new hobby, or level up your career, Skillshare definitely has something for you. There are thousands of classes on Skillshare on practically any topic you can think of. You can learn from experts in their fields, watch video lessons at your own pace, and join a community of millions of learners. But wait, there is even more. Skillshare is offering a special deal to our viewers. The first 100 people to click the link in the description below will get a 30-day free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership so you can explore your creativity and learn new skills. Click the link below and start your journey with Skillshare today. Now let's just have a roundup of our tools here. Okay, we have the selection tool, we have the direct selection tool, you know what they do. We have the group selection tool, we select the groups. We have this guy, which is the magic one tool. It's also a selection tool. It selects uh, uh, objects with similar colors. Okay, so let's assume we have this guy with red, this guy with red, then see we have this other guy 
okay so if when we select this guy here and come on click here we see that we're selecting the ones with similar colors so that is the use of this toolbar and so this tool here now we have other tools we are not going to go through all of them in this video okay there are too many tools and yeah you get we're just going to go through the important ones and of course as we use them as we advance in the course we are going to look at quite a number of them quite a lot of them okay and then of course if you want to learn how to use all the tools in details you can check out the basic course on adobe illustrator and then we have the pen tool now this tool is used to create drawings right it's a pen tool it's a pen okay so you can just click and it creates a point click, click and it creates a point create a point you can click and drag and it turns your point to a curve okay and gives its handles so when we click this direct selection tool and come and select some of this curved point we can see handles here now these handles can be used of course to edit the curvature of your curves okay we have other tools under under the pen tool we have the add anchor points tool which is used to add points okay you can see that we are adding points now to our to our shape okay and you can move these points we can turn them to curves and do a whole lot of things we have the delete anchor points tool which is used to delete anchor points okay then we have the anchor points tool which is used to turn an angular anchor point into a curved anchor point like this or a curved one into an angular one like this okay and then we have the curvature tool which is used to uh, draw curves or draw shapes okay draw curved shapes so we can click here click here click here click here click here we can see that we are creating a curved shape and when, and when we double click it creates a point double click creates a point double click creates a point but when you click once and drag it creates a curved shape here so delete and i'm just going to delete one artboard here so come on edit select the copy and delete now we have other tools here we have of course the pen tool or the, or the type tool rather which is used to create types okay so you can click and then create we are going to look at types in in a, in a separate video okay we have other type tools here we have the line tool the or rather the line segment tool we have the arc tool we have the spiral tool we have the rectangular grid tool we have the polar grid tool we're going to look at all of this of course so they are just used to create uh, what the cd create okay so for this guy it's the line segment tool we just used it to create a line segment here we have the arc tool you just used to create an arc okay then we have the spiral tool which is used to create a spiral we have the rectangular grid tool which is used to create a rectangular grid okay, we have the polar grid tool which is used to create a polar grid okay now we have the shape tools we have the rectangle tool we have the rounded rectangle tool the ellipse tool the polygon tool the star tool the flare tool okay so i'm very sure you know what all these tools are used for now we have the brush tool and we have the blob tool okay brush tools uh, is used to 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 create drawings like this okay to just paint just like using a brush and the blob tool is also a, a, a brush tool just that it works in a separate way we're going to be looking at this tool um, later on and then we have the shape to the shaper tool the pencil tool okay we have this pencil tool and then we have the shaper tool which kind of shapes um okay the shaper tool kind of creates uh, sh custom shapes for us okay so we can just do this and create a square we can do this create this we can do this and create an ellipse and so on and so forth okay so that's what this tool does the shape out tool and then we have the pencil tool which we've used here to create this drawing and then we have the smooth tool which kind of smooths our drawing okay smooths our drawing smooths it out okay 
and then we have the eraser tool which kind of erases our drawing okay just like this then we have the join tool which kind of joins uh, joins two points the two joints let's say we have this guy here and we have another one close when you select the both of them and select the join tool yeah, we'll join them like this okay and then yeah we have the eraser tool the scissors tool the knife tool all these tools are used to erase okay or to cut okay this guy for the for the scissors tool we have to just come and cut and you can see that when we delete we now have a segment of it like this <coughs> we have the knife tool it's also used to cut out things we have the rotate tool the reflect tool the rotate tool is used to rotate just like the name implies you come and then rotate so you can go like this and then kind of rotate and then the reflect tool is also used to reflect okay that's flip oh, and all of these things we can actually do them by right clicking and then going to transform and we have move rotate reflect scale and share and transform each which will enable us to do the whole thing that scale and move and rotate and do all the all that transform stuff and we have this guy which is the scale the share the reshape we have the width tools the which is used to kind of uh, do stuff like this sorry so we select this guy and where is it this is the width tool we can use it to kind of do stuff like this uh, okay what's happening let's see we have you like this so the width tool enables us kind of increase the width of our of our shape like this okay so it helps us do stuff like this we kind of edit the profile profiling of our stuff <coughs> so that's what the width tool does we have other tools here we have the wrap tool the twirl tool we draw with those stuff like this it kind of distorts our ship okay like this um let's just draw a normal ship and see let's draw a rectangle then give it a little stroke and give it a yellow color a yellow feel then come and select this tool here now you see this is what the the 12 tool does and all of these tools kind of distort our shape in certain ways <coughs> now we have this one the free transform tool the puppet tool uh, all of them kind of uh, transform our tool or our shape in certain ways the puppet tool helps us uh, in kind of distorting our, our form in some certain ways by putting joints on them on, on on separate parts of the of the ship we have the ship builder tool which kind of helps us uh, build our ship maybe like this okay and kind of connect two ships to together or subtract them okay we're going to be looking at all of this in details each of these in details that's when we start handling the project as a whole i just want to refresh your mind uh, about these tools in this lecture okay so that's it for the shape builder tool we have the live paint bucket tool we have the live paint tool and we have the perspective uh, tool which is used to create perspectives okay then we have the um, the mesh tool which is used to create meshes okay now with these meshes you can now kind of create uh, gradient meshes okay now these gradient meshes you can select points and give it a whole different color okay, like this maybe give this guy a blue color and this is what we now have okay select this guy and then give it this shade of blue and this is what we now have. so that's the use of this mesh tool okay and of course if you are coming from the other course again you know all of these tools we created several projects with these tools so this should not be a problem for you this is just kind of a refresh to your existing knowledge we have the gradient tool 
okay again to help us create gradients and edit our gradients we have the eyedropper tool which helps us kind of um you know, choose colors from existing colors so we can select the, the guy here select the eyedropper tool and then just kind of um, select other shapes or the colors around and it's going to adapt to what we've selected we have the uh, the blend tool which helps us blend between shapes okay let's just give this guy blue color so we can now use the blend tool to like select the blend tool select this guy select this guy and as you can see we have blended these three shapes together okay we have other tools here like the symbol spray tool which prints symbols we have the column graph tool which creates graphs we have a whole lot of them here and then we have the the artboard tool of course which we've looked at we have this other one the slice tool the size selection tool we have the hand tool which is used to navigate around like this we have the zoom tool which is used to zoom in and zoom out okay so this is just a refresh to your memory again once more and in the subsequent lectures we're going to like i said work with these individual tools and learn very advanced ways of doing things with them okay hey so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and learned something new if you did please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads we post new videos every week covering topics in the fields of graphic design and illustration motion graphics and video branding and more if you want to support us and get access to exclusive benefits such as the project files we use in our classes a live chat with us shout outs and more consider becoming a patron on patreon you can join for as little as three dollars a month and the link to our patreon page is in the description below and if you want to take your learning to the next level you can check out the complete course of which this episode is a part of and in the complete course you get access to more than 10 hours of video lessons project files and resources class exercises a q a section a certificate of completion and more you can get the course for a special discount by using the link in the description below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video Bye for now.